Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the brand new geometry creation tools provided by 1CNC XR5. Now, 1CNC has completely restructured the way we create geometry. It's never been easier. In fact, there's lots of dynamic feedback, there's lots of interaction between existing geometry. You can create geometry using absolute or incremental input. It's very, very simple and easy to use. So let me demonstrate. We're going to head over to the main toolbar, and I'm going to grab Arc. All right. So let's talk about the dynamic feedback. Notice that as I type in different diameters here, it's instantly updated over on the right hand side. Also note too that if I take my cursor and move it into the drawing area, we're now snapping to grid points. If you're set up for imperial, you'll snap to imperial snapping. If you're set up for metric, you'll snap to metric snapping. There's lots of advantages to this. One of those happens to be that it's now easy to snap right at the datum. Notice as I hover over the datum, we get a nice little square marker. I can left hand mouse click and we've created that arc. Also note that within XR5, we're constantly referencing off of existing geometry. So as I take my cursor and move it underneath that existing arc, we're going to soon see a vertical line. That vertical dashed line shows me that I'm at the same X value as that existing arc. Same thing holds true for the Y axis. As I come up, there's a horizontal line that shows me I'm at the same Y value as that other arc. We can also reference off of multiple shapes. How about arc centers? Let's change the diameter to a half inch. For an arc center, just simply move your cursor to the arc center and left click. We don't have to use a lot of submenus now. We can just directly create our geometry the way we'd like. How about creating geometry on a quadrant? To do that, just move to the quadrant and left click. So there's 90 degrees, there's 180. How about 270? There's 270, 270 is there. There's 0, 0, and 90 degrees. Really simple to use. All right, how about using coordinate input? Let's go back into the arc command. Let's say we want to create an arc up here at, how about x1, y1? All right, I'm going to change the diameter to something different. We'll head over here to our coordinate input. This is absolute up here. I'm going to type in 1 for X, 1 for Y. If I like that, I just click the OK button, and there you go. There's the arc. And we're constantly getting feedback over here as well. Let's change this to X0. And as I do that, you can see the arc snap over to X0. If I like that, I click OK, and there's the arc. How about incremental input? This is brand new to XR5 and really powerful. For the X value, I'm going to type in minus Let's type in minus one inch, and for the y value, I'm going to type in, how about 200 thousandths? Now notice that as I move my cursor, that brand new arc is now incrementally spaced from that cursor, minus one in x, and point two in y. So if I'd like, I can grab an arc center. I can, I can even use coordinate input to plant that. We can grab a quadrant of an arc. We can come down here. We can grab any piece of geometry. It could be, for example, the end of a line, or a point, or again, coordinate input if we'd like, or a quadrant, or midpoint. So very, very powerful to use that. And that's all brand new within XR5. Now let's take a look at creating some lines. I'm going to head over here to a CAD view, and let's go into our line command. OK, now as I create a line, notice now that I can just keep clicking. And as I do that, we're creating several lines, and we're referencing off of existing geometry as we do that. When you're done creating lots of lines, all you have to do is right hand mouse click. Notice you're still inside the line command. To create a single line, it's the same thing, just left hand click, and when you're finished, just left hand click, and then if I'm done with that line, I can right hand mouse click. So left click, left click, when I'm done, right hand mouse click. If I want to join the endpoints, no problem, just grab the endpoint, left click, and left click. When I'm done, right hand mouse click. So left, left, right hand mouse click. How about midpoints? That's real simple too, just grab the midpoint, left click, and left click, and when you're finished, you can right hand mouse click. Let's take this a step further. Let's say I want to create a line that starts at this endpoint and terminates tangent to that arc. No special submenu to get into, just do it. Just come up here, grab the endpoint, move to the arc, wait till you see the tangent symbol, which is right there, and left hand mouse click. When you're done, you can right hand click. Let's do that again. I'm going to head over here, I'm going to grab that endpoint, I'm going to left click. We're going to come over here, wait till I see the tangent symbol, left click, and then right click to finish. Very, very straightforward, very simple to use. So it doesn't matter whether you're creating points, lines, or arcs. You're always going to have absolute input, incremental input. You're going to have feedback over here on the right-hand side of the screen. And it's very easy to get right in there and start creating the geometry. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the brand new alter command provided by XR5. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you then.